hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to display all post of your wordpress blog using wordpress rest api so you can see this is the endpoint here https coding scripture.com slash wp json slash wp slash version 2 slash post so basically if i go to this link here it will return uh, you can see now the number of posts will be returned to me as a json here so this is all my website blogs here you will see all such data will be returned to me inside this json response so this is wordpress rest api which provides you access freely this is free api you can just type this url and uh, you can you can replace here any website if you know if this is a wordpress website and then you can get their blog post nicely so we will be displaying it inside a table inside browser we will be making use of javascript and if you only need the title of the blog post you will see this is a link here and title and uh, the date on which the blog post was published here you can see date so if you want only these three things we will be displaying it so we can do this like this by having question mark and then we can have underscore fields and here we can provide uh, let me just cross check yes so fields and then this uh, square brackets and inside this you will write the field name which is title and basically if i enter it now basically it will only return the title to me of each blog post here you will see this is a title here which is all the blog post by default it will only return you will see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so if you want to increase the size you can also provide a property that is uh, which is per page how many entries you want to have per page so you can change this value to 100 so now I think this is a different attribute sorry this needs to be per underscore page so per underscore page so I can change this to 100 this is a maximum value that you can return on a particular page so now you can see it 100 blog posts will be returned to us alongside with their title so you will see and now in order to extract more fields here we can return again here we can write fields and this time we can also have the link as well if i now you will see the link will also be returned to us which is you can see the link and the title and lastly we can also return the date as well so in this easy way you can get all the parameters that you actually need fields and is equal to date and now you will see the date is also returned to us so this is the exact re response that we want here of each blog post the date the link and the title so we will be displaying it on a web page so that you can easily get access to all the blog posts which are published without going to your wordpress dashboard so this is the endpoint here simply you need to and uh, hit this endpoint using ajax request so this is very simple if you want the full source code i have given the link in the video description to get all the source code just go to the video description link and download all the source code so here we will change the title at uh, wordpress rest api example in javascript so here we can make use of some bootstrap So include the CDN which is of the CSS part and now we can have the container class inside this we can have a heading that is WordPress list of all blog posts and then 
what can I do is that we can have a simple form here where you can input the dynamic uh, website name so input type will be text here and here we will be giving a ID to it or website so this will be required enter WordPress website URL and just this should be required and we will be giving a label website URL that's it so after that input here we will have another input and this time so in order to wrap this you need to wrap this inside a form group class or bootstrap So this to this type will, we will be having a type of number and uh, so class we need to again give form control this is a bootstrap class and this time I will give the value so uh, by default we will show 20 blog posts on the web page so this value can be changed so ID we can give number that should also be required. So just add the container class as well to this form group. So now if you open this inside your browser you will see website URL and uh, number of blog post. We can also give it a label. Like this. Now we simply need a button guys so we will have form group so we can have a button btn btn uh, danger btn block and here we can say get block post so you will see now we have to have a simple table here so inside bootstrap we can display a table here inside this so we can just copy their markup so uh, just after this form here we will have a div which will have the id result attached to it and inside this we will have the table which will have the table class and table striped class and inside this we will have the table head tag and we will have uh, first heading will be table heading will be blog post post title and then we will have date published published date so these two things we will display and the link will be there as a href attribute to the title that's it so now inside table body we will give it an id of data so this will be currently empty because we will be dynamically inserting blog post inside this so now you can write your script tag here so we can target the form by its id so submit so when the form submits this function will automatically trigger so we will be preventing the auto submission of the form by executing e.prevent default now we can get the url that the user has entered simply uh, url dot val so i think we have given this id so change this to url and the number of blog post so I think we have given an ID to it which is number so we can catch this number dot val and then we can make a custom function get blog post passing this URL and number so we can make this function get blog post 
so inside this function guys we need to make a simple ajax request method will be get and the url will be simply i will copy paste the url which we have simply copy this and paste it here and uh, And here you need to replace your URL. So simply this, I will make it as a backtick symbol. So just make it backtick. So in this way, you can dynamically insert variables here. So here I will insert URL and then insert per page we will display number that's it so after that guys we can have the success callback put a comma and then we can have success callback when the data is returned to us we can console log the data just to check now if it is working and also we can have one more event handler to work with which is uh, this number field so whenever it changes that is change event handler this function will automatically trigger so here we can say again call get blog post and here we will pass the url and number modified number that's it so number will be equal to this dot value and uh, We don't need to call this because we already binded that to this form event handler. So just update the value, that's it, whenever it changes. So now we can test this. If I open this, enter a URL here. If I want to fetch 20 blog posts, if I click get, It is saying, oh sorry, we haven't imported jQuery, so click on So right here, before it pasted it. If you inspect element, you will surely see an array coming here, which is 20 blog post is there Date, link, title so we need to display this information guys so so now to display this information it is very simple we will use the for each loop and the data and for each blog post we will target the body here which is we have given the table body a id here you can see data and we will use the append method and uh, here we will say table row table data and inside this you can first table heading is the post title so for the title we can if you just look here it is auto refreshed so we have post dot title dot uh, rendered so this is the post title and then in order to get the date it is very simple and this will be post dot uh, I think date if I see if you just now see click now you will see the post title is there 
published state is also there so you will see now we have successfully developed this you can change this to any number let's like suppose i want to fetch 50 blog post so now this will display 50 blog post if you want to change this to 2 so as you can see it is already appending it it is not clearing out so whenever you click it so this is very much easy so you need to clear out the data whenever you make a ajax request so simply need to clear out the previous data which is there so we can say this we have given the id to it which is data so simply we will say html to nothing that's it so just make it this slight modification and now if you just run this if you change the number to 2 now you will see so in this way you can use this wordpress rest api in order to publish in order to get the published date post title and now to get the link as well this is very easy we can attach the link by a href tag so inside this we can pass uh, the link here which is post.link and we can have uh, a target attribute which will open the in a new window blank so just make it close the anchor tag that that's it so if you make this adjustment here you will see now you will see this is clickable if you click this this blog post will open in a new window you will see so in this way you can get the basic information that is post title url and the published date in in the similar way you can get more information if you want to display it and i have shown you the very basic example of how to do this from using wordpress rest api in javascript if you want the full source code, you can go to the video description link to download all the source code and I will be seeing you in the next video.